I know it's been a while. It's been a long time since I made a video, so I gotta get used to talking to a camera again. So first thing I'm gonna do for 2018 is makey makey. I wanna talk about it, how I use it in the classroom, and I just hope that teachers or anybody that is interested in this product can get an idea of how to use it in their classroom, whether it's for Genius Hour or Explorations. So enjoy the video. I also want to say thank you to my subscribers. Uh, last time I checked, I had 115 subscribers, which is awesome. And any new subscribers, welcome. Go ahead and check out my old videos. Um, there's a lot of different content. And be ready for some uh, new content that's on the way. I'm also thinking of doing some updates on some 3D printing and other products that I've used. So, yeah, just keep liking, keep watching, and sharing. So, Makey Makey board. Um, it's just an Adreno board. It kind of looks like a, the old Nintendo pads. And with this, it's connected through USB to your computer. And you can hook these little wires up, little cables, and have this control your computer. You can have it uh, control a timer. You can have it control as a, a be a remote control for games. There's a number of different things you can do. What's really great about Makey Makey is that they have a website and they have lessons already made for teachers that are interested in showing this to their students. And my students really enjoyed using this uh, during explorations and they really enjoyed the Makey Makey piano. And I'll show you the link. And they enjoy making music from the piano. And what's really pretty neat is that kids will grab their journals or a whiteboard and they're trying to figure out music, uh, musical patterns, and trying to see what notes uh, will work to make a melody or, you know, something that just sounds and good. And cool. when when they connect so, all the cables to the right, as you're holding the you know, you can, um, you're right areas red, here on the board, red, Dark it makes green, different yellow, sounds yellow, red, and I'll show green, you that also red, um, dark in the video green, and it's really neat to see kids kind of make their own music or recreate certain music if you haven't tried code.org yet try to you know take a look at it play around with it hour of code is great you can find a lot of different games and applications to kind of introduce your students into the world of programming or coding. So using Makey Makey, what you can do is tape these little cables down to the table, but right now I'm just gonna kinda show you what you can do or have kids do. And you can have a game kinda like this on code.org, it's called Sprite Box. And you just go to the web flash, since you're using the laptop. You'll have to have them hold the ground or earth wire in order for all the buttons to work and when it loads have students only play the game using the makey makey now what you could do is just have this wire on the earth and then have kids try to figure out what else they can do to make their character on the screen move so right now I have yellow as space uh, this dark green as click, so I don't need those right now. And I have this red as moving to the right, so if I need to move right, I just press it. Well, it looks like I went too far. I need to go to the white and hold there. And now I move my person where it needs to go. Now I need to jump. That means it's the up button. There we go. And then again, I gotta go right, so every time he, I tap it, he moves. 
I'm going to tap the white. He moves. When I jump, he's jumping. Nothing with the down. So you can have kids try to finish games. Um, complete missions on certain games. I know Cool Math Games has a lot of directional type of games. And see if they can complete levels, finish the games using a Makey Makey board. And like I said, if you want to make it a challenge, just have this wire connected to the earth, but then all the other wires in the box and have them try to figure out and make it a challenge saying they can't use the keyboard at all. Talk about problem solving right there. And you can see there's a tab called educators. You can click on there and you can look at the different lessons. Educator guide, educator guide for Lego. You can go to explore Makey Makey Labs. You can see what the lessons are teaching. So I clicked on educator guide and you can see they talk about the setup and then they talk about what you can do with it. And you can see there's bananas here. That's kind of how they started it. They use the bananas as answering buzzers or bongo drums. So pretty neat activity and then you can get to lesson plans and you can read up on these lessons and see what materials you need and see what you can do with your students you can also use some things that are already created it says apps to use with Makey Makey so if I click on bongos it should just take me to the bongos, kind of like the piano. And I'm just clicking on it right now. But if students had the Makey Makey plugged in, they can create different sounds using different connections or conductors. So. Looks like a synthesizer. And you can see and the kids can record themselves you can change the key maps you can also use different samples really nice addition up to the makey makey and this is free you don't have to pay for any of this stuff here so something that kids can use and you can also see the Makey Makey Go, which will give you pretty much the same capabilities as the Makey Makey that I I was showing. Uh, it's just a like a travel size. It's smaller and it's cheaper. So if you're introducing electricity to your classroom or if you're introducing uh, circuits or conductors to your students, Makey Makey is the right way to go. I'll put a link to uh, Makey Makey in the description. I love it. My students love it. I have nothing to say negative about it. I just wish I had more. Stay tuned for some more videos. See you next time.